So today we have made our way into the truck compound. This is where you will find lots of very smart and very nice trucks. They're not just any trucks because this is where the riders will stay during the competition. Now we're very lucky today that Patrick van der Meer has said that we can come and say hello and take a little look inside his truck. So let's knock on the door. Patrick, great to meet you. Thank you so much for allowing us to come and have a little look at your truck. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, for me it's uh, really a great truck. I have it now uh, since three years. And uh, for me it had everything uh, you need to go uh, very easy on the shows and it's very uh, good for the horses. Now the first thing I've noticed, if we just take a little look behind you here, is this little keypad. I'm guessing that's keyless entry. Yes, uh, and it's really great because uh, usually the, they don't, you have to use your key and when you're in a hurry or when you're a bit nervous and you're at your truck to pick something up and you forgot your key, you have to run back and then you're a little late to go on the horse. So this is really great that you always uh, can go in if you want to. As we look down the side of the truck, there's lots of little doors. So let's start off with this one behind you first of all. I'm guessing this is an entrance for the horses. Yes, uh, you can enter the horses in here, but you can also use it to put other stuff in here. And normally I use the back uh, entrance uh, for the horses and put the stuff in here. Perfect. Now I notice a couple of doors just a little bit further along down here. What do you keep in here? Uh, you can keep uh, everything in here. So for us it's uh, to put a bit clothes on, but you can also put the saddles in there and uh, you can put your bridles in there. And normally we have it when we go uh, for more days on the shows, everything is in the stables now. But when you go only for one day, you can use this to put your stuff in. And perfect, you've even got a little outside sink as well. Yeah, and there's even there's a radio in here and you have water in there. Okay, we don't use it a lot, but it's in it and it's really nice. So let's take a little look and a wander around to the back. And this is the main entrance for the horses. Yes, uh, that's what we usually use to uh, put the horses in. Perfect, let's go take a look inside. Horse eye view in. Yeah. What would yeah. happen on it? Well, we can, uh, we can put uh, six horses in it. And um, yeah, usually we go on a competition with uh, two or three horses, not with six. Uh, the jumping riders uh, usually have more horses. Here we only have one horse. Uh, you, you can only ride one in this uh, European Championship. So uh, we have here only Uzo, so then we have uh, plenty enough space to put all the stuffs in the truck. Now let's have a look around. There's lots of little mod cons you've got here. I can see there's that little camera up there behind you, so that's so you can keep an eye on the horses while you're driving. Yes, uh, we can keep an eye on the horses, and when you put the engine on the back drive, when you uh, then the cameras on the back, and you can, you can uh, show you what is behind the vertical. Now, an interesting little feature. There's some fantastic lighting in here. If we take a look up here, uh, we've got some wonderful LED lights. But there's a red light next door to it. What's that for? Yeah, that's uh, when you hit the brake in the in the in the, in the truck. Then the horses can see that you're gonna gonna brake, and then they can prepare themselves a little bit, and they're gonna stand like that. And I don't know if it's really like that, but they say they did some tests, and really, when the horses see the lights, that they already prepare themselves a little bit. Perfect. Let's make our way through this way here. Then a little bit of a tight squeeze to breathe in as we go through. Yeah, yeah, we can also. Open it. We have also the, the, here the, the plates, you can put them in the front when you have stallions in the, in the truck that they couldn't, couldn't touch themselves or couldn't bite themselves. And usually we have it open, you have a little bit more space and a little bit more air. But when you have some stallions in, you can also close that. Perfect. As we come through, there's room for lots of horses in here, as we've already said. Now there's a little winch in this corner here. What's that for? Yeah, we can uh, put the, uh, the stuff in and it's quite heavy to put them in. They're on wheels, so you can use that thing to put everything in and out. So that'd be kind of like a flight case with your saddles and reins and stirrups and equipment? Yes, definitely. Perfect. Yeah. Now we mentioned here as well, there's a little sensor up here as well. Um, tell us what that's for and, and what that does for you. Yeah, it's a kind of a control system, so uh, they can see wherever you want. You have a, a central system, yeah, I don't know where it is, uh, and they can, uh, yeah, they can really see where you go and how fast you go. But also when the temperature is getting too high uh, for the horses, I get an SMS on my phone, and then I can put the yeah, kind of air conditioning on, and then it will be colder for the horses. Fantastic. There's lots of places here for the horses to relax. Uh, let's go and have a look now into your living quarters because I know this is where you stay as well while you're at a competition. So let's make our way through here. And uh, first of all, this little section in the middle, I believe that's your shower and bathroom area. Is that all in yes, there? Yes, yes. It's, it's a, a bit camping here, so it's, it's not really big. But uh, yeah, I'm really proud of it. I really like my truck. Let's, well, let's, let's take a seat in here as well. Yeah. You can talk us through uh, this little area we've got here. There's a bit of a kitchen and 
bed up here as well. Yes, uh, normally uh, only the groom uh, uh, stays in the in the truck. She sleeps here, and sometimes when the first day there's no shuttle or when we don't have hotel, I also sleep here. But especially now when you're here for a whole week, uh, it's really nice when you have your own place and your own uh, stuff to do. And but we have everything here, and for me it's really nice that when I have to do uh, the competition, I can go here uh, just an hour before I get on my horse, and I can read the book or uh, show a little bit television. And we have an airco here in here, so it's really comfortable to yeah have your own place and prepare for your show. Well, the inside's great. Can you show me the cab? Sure. Wow, central locking, how exciting. <laughs> yeah, that's really great. Yes, and now the curtains are closed because the grooms is sleeping in the truck and otherwise it's really light in there. So we put the curtains in and uh, yeah, uh, to drive in it's really great. Can I have a seat? Yeah, sure. Perfect. Wow, incredibly comfortable. Patrick, thank you ever so much for allowing us to come and have a little look at your truck. I think I'm going to take it for a spin now.